What is up guys? Welcome back to another JT Outdoors video. And today I'm actually giving y'all an update on the John Boat to Bass Boat build that we did like a year ago now. But yeah, if you're an OG and you've been around the channel for a while, you know that we bought a $300 John Boat off of Facebook Marketplace. Yes, 300. I think he had it listed for like six or something like that. Maybe even eight. I just lowballed him for like, I was like, dude, would you take $200 for it? And he was like, the best I could do is three. So I was like, I'm on my way. Sometimes all you have to do is ask, you know, and you get a good deal. So yeah, I went, picked it up, brought it home. And we pretty much did like a whole little series of like building out the deck, installing like trolling motors and stuff like that. We even at one point had an entire like outboard motor on it. So yeah, we built it out and you know, I've taken it fishing so many times. It's a really, really good little boat. But throughout that series, we had a lot of comments and stuff. People like, dude, the wood wouldn't last. This is going to fail within two weeks, blah, 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 all this. But yeah, I just want to give you all kind of like an update. How's everything doing? How's the wood looking? Is it just falling apart and brittle like everybody said it would? Boom. Here she is in all of her glory. But yeah, here she is. As y'all can see, we still got the deck here. This is something we built. We got the floor still in, the back seat. Got the little seat installed, the actual foot pedal trolling motor up top. There's Margaret getting nice and dirty. Thank you. We built the deck. We built the floor, I'm pretty sure. I think in that video, we built like a platform that came all the way out here. Like I said, it's been a while. I don't even really remember. That... I li literally took it to town one time after building it and I didn't like secure it down to anything and as soon as my truck hit like 40 miles an hour it blew out the back so instead of the full platform back here we just went with like covering up the seat here but yeah in that video we went to Home Depot bought like a $40 piece of treated plywood we bought some green paint basically it's supposed to like seal up the wood and make it like waterproof kind of water resistant that'd be a better word we bought that we bought like glue and staples and then the carpet for all of this and like I said we had a lot of comments saying yeah it will work for maybe a month but then it's gonna break in half or it's gonna be brittle in a year or whatever dude this thing right here as solid as ever dude it is in perfect condition it doesn't even have like a bow in it or anything which is kind of funny because our cat's name is Bo and he actually loves laying in here like he's always in here I'm surprised he isn't in here the platform the casting deck whatever you want to call it it is still super super solid but yeah the floor I use like the cheap like pressed plywood and this stuff it's is looking pretty rough and also because water gets in here and it like kind of sits so this pretty much every time i go fishing this gets pretty wet because again like i said old leaky this thing leaks that's why we got the bilge pump ain't it mark oh you want to go fishing and you want to go fishing so yeah i'd say the only thing that probably is going to need replacing here in the next few months would be the floor which honestly it's not needed i just like it because of the carpet it kind of gives it like a complete look and it's a little bit easier like on your feet and stuff if you're standing up so yeah that isn't in the greatest shape it does its job it's it's a floor you know you're just gonna be stepping on it anyways it doesn't have to like hold any weight or anything but yeah these past few days i've actually replaced the transom this thing was in terrible terrible shape the wood i mean it was so fragile i literally took my hand and just ripped it off like it was so bad it was basically wood chips on the back of the boat but yeah as you can see i've replaced it with a two by ten i think or two but maybe two by twelve i don't remember i sealed it up and i've actually even stained it so it has like that dark walnut look to it and then this right here this is the thing i have replaced the most on this boat i don't know what's happening but the winch handle this is the third winch handle i have bought i have tightened this thing down as tight as i can possibly get it but for some reason i don't know if it's just when i'm driving and the vibrations i don't know i mean i have literally taken impacts to it and everything tighten it down as much as i possibly can they just keep falling off i don't know if it's while i'm driving or while i'm putting the boat in the water i don't know but yeah this is a brand new wind channel just bought this the other day put it on there hopefully it's the last one i ever have to do that's like literally the bit and the biggest problem with this entire boat is the winch handle. <laughs> Luckily, it's like $7, but still. But yeah, that's pretty much the update on the boat. All the stuff we did a year ago, still here, still pretty solid. So yeah, that's everything we've done. We've upgraded like off camera throughout like the past year and stuff. Now I want to talk about some of the upgrades I want to do. I have still yet to be done in the major, major thing. Basically what I want to do is take this whole unit off right here, or I might even be able to just cut it like right here. Pretty much cut the trailer cut the tongue of the trailer off get about four or five foot of like this tubing metal and weld it on there and extend this trailer by about four or five foot it's gonna help with multiple things the biggest thing is back in the trailer in this short little trailer i can't see it in the truck i don't have like a backup camera or anything cannot see it so i literally i don't when i when the boat's off when the boat's on it i can see it and i can back it up freaking anywhere you know but without the boat on it like i'm trying to like go put the boat back on the trailer and leave i don't back it up because it's literally impossible at least for me i'm i know there's gonna be trailer experts out there they're gonna be like oh i could do that blindfold but dude i can't do it i can't i cannot do it i've tried everything so extending it and actually being able to see at least the tail end of it out the back of the truck 
I can actually back it up. Like literally every time we've taken this thing fishing, I've taken the trailer off the hitch and walked it down the boat ramp and then backed the truck up to it. <laughs> like, kind of embarrassing, but hey, I would rather do that than fight the trailer just going every other way for two and a half hours. Extending it, making it longer so that way we can actually see it when we back it up. It's gonna be so, so great. All right, guys, it is a few days later, and today we are actually taking the old Facebook Marketplace John boat. We're taking it on a trip all the way down to my dad's house. Because today we are working on it, but we're not really working on the boat. We're working on just the trailer. So the trailer that came with the boat, I, it's not meant for it at all. I think it was like a cheap like trailer kit maybe somebody ordered. It's super short. Like I think it might have been for like a jet ski or something, and they just converted it to fit the John boat. But it's super short. It's super like cheap. Like, you know the metal is super like flimsy so we're gonna fix it today my dad he's been a welder all of his life i am super not qualified to be welding stuff and some might say my dad's too qualified for it so one thing that man can do is make metal stick to other pieces of metal so yeah we're taking it down there we're gonna work on it and basically what we're gonna do is extend the trailer we're gonna add like two and a half three foot to the trailer so that way it's longer for multiple reasons the first reason it helps support the boat more we're also gonna add some like other supports to different spots on the trailer to help support the weight of the boat but the main reason why we're extending it and adding more to the tongue of the trailer so that way I can freaking see it and then it was so short like I couldn't drop the tailgate so that way I could see it more because the winch would be in the way and then I'd mess my tailgate up I'm saying that from experience so it was basically impossible to back the trailer up without the boat on it like my truck it doesn't have like a rear view camera or anything or a backup camera hopefully with extending it out extending the tongue two and a half three feet we can get it to where one it rides better it supports the weight of the boat better and then also it's longer so that way I can see it but yeah we got her loaded up I'm hopping the truck and I'm gonna head down to my dad's Was say hi to the people? Iron Maiden roll. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm just now leaving my dad's. I got the boat hooked up. And, dude, it's going to be hard for y'all to see, but I can actually see the boat. Like, in the rear view, I can look back and see it. It's ridiculous. Like, just adding that two foot, like, two and a half, three foot that we added. So y'all can see it right over the tailgate. Dude, we can actually see the boat now. That's going to help so much. And then even when the boat's off of it and, like, we're going to, like, load back up, dude, Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. And it rides good too. I think it, it doesn't like, it doesn't bounce as much. I've hit a couple potholes. Since my dad like put those braces on it, it doesn't bounce as much and it like it rides a lot better now. Oh yeah. Dude, that was the move right there. What are you doing? Oh, itchy. Itchy? Hey, you itchy? It's hot out here, huh? It's hot out here, Mark. All right, guys, we are back from my dad's. Y'all seen, I took a little a couple snippets here and there. We got her fixed up. We got her to where I think, just on the ride home, I could tell, I mean, it was an absolute world of difference. This thing rides so much better. It doesn't bounce as much. And that's just with extending the trailer like we did. And then adding the supports in the middle. Like, dude, this thing is so much more solid. So yeah, let me show y'all what we did. Kind of give you a rundown. So here's the boat right here is where the trailer hitch used to be. My dad took it off and then he added some metal inside the actual tubing. So this tubing right here from the actual trailer, it's hollow. So he took a couple pieces of metal, stacked them up on top of each other, tacked them together, and then slid it into the actual piping of the trailer. And he did that about halfway, so half of it is in there, and then the other half is in this other tubing that we added, just to help with some metal supports, so that way it just doesn't bow down, you know? So yeah, he did that, and then this piece right here from about right there, all the way down, to right here that is what we added to the trailer it's probably two two and a half foot i thought it might have been a little too short but i think it is absolutely perfect so yeah then he slid this piece of tubing on top of the metal that he added here tacked that together welded all the way around and then he even put more supports on either side so this piece right here and then this piece over here put those on there welded them up to add even more bracing where we connected this and then instead of having to drill 72 holes to put the actual trailer hitch part back on he welded that thing back on so that is 
solid as ever. This thing is not going absolutely anywhere. But yeah, he welded the trailer hitch back on. We put the chains back on. And that is it for up here. That was it for actually extending the length. I gotta think. I mean, the end of it was right here. We are adding that much more. I'll say this. Before we did this, I could not put the tailgate down. If I had the boat hooked up, it was so close. I couldn't put the tailgate down on the truck. Now, dude, with room so much room to spare it's hard on the camera because this is a wide lens it's really hard to show y'all like actual size of stuff but dude there is so much room it's, it's gonna be so great it's gonna be so awesome i could literally tell just from driving down the road and looking in my rear view i could see so much more of the boat before i could barely that like if i had the right like angle going up a hill or something i could barely see the lip of the back of the boat but now while i'm driving i can see the seat i can see the back seat i can see the entire transom it's gonna be so nice i'm so excited for this huge shout out to my dad because i could not have done this at all without him so yeah to add even more support he added this piece of metal right here and then the same thing on the other side so now this actual middle piece of tubing right here has support. It is absolutely solid now. This thing, it will never bow again. It's great. It's great. So yeah, we extended the tongue out about two and a half, three foot. And then my dad added those supports in the middle. And that's all we did. And dude, it is going to be so much better. My initial idea was to extend it and then move all of this up. So that way the boat sat more up on the trailer. Because y'all can see it has, I don't know, four four and a half foot just dangling off the end there but to be honest i've never been worried about that like i always strap it down and do all that and have the winch in the front i'm not worried about it dangling in the back here there's not a big old motor back here so there's not a bunch of weight back here ever like all that's back here is a, a boat battery that's like the most weight that will ever be back here while i'm just pulling it so me and my dad were talking and i don't even think i need to do that and also if i don't do that that gives me the ability if i have a super steep boat ramp or something that i'm going down and i can't for some whatever reason see the trailer now I have plenty of room to drop the tailgate and I can see the entire trailer now. Plenty of room to maneuver left and right. Because before this was so close up, this would hit the tailgate and the tailgate couldn't even come all the way down. But now there's plenty of room so I can see. I don't even think I'm gonna have to do this. I think it's long enough now to where I'll be able to see it with the tailgate up. But just in case, I can do that. Dude, I'm so excited. This is going to make getting the boat in and out so much easier, pulling it so much easier. It's, I'm sure it's gonna like extend the life of the leaf springs that I replaced, the tires. It's just gonna be so much better all around. I'm excited. I'm so glad that we got this done. Again, huge shout out to my father. But the work does not stop there. Now, what I have to do, I actually stopped at Tractor Supply on the way home. And one thing I did was replace the bulbs in the tail lights. Neither of them worked on my way up there. And that's because this one was blown and then that one was just absolutely shattered. So I stopped at Tractor Supply, got some new lights, put those in. Those work now, so everything's good there. Why are these? Those are hawks. Those hawks are so loud. What are y'all doing? Go away. We don't have anything for it. But yeah, while I was at Tractor Supply, I actually picked up some spray paint. Because since we just welded that fresh new metal on there, you have to protect it. Because if you don't, one rain, it's just going to rust over. So I went and I picked up two cans of Rust Kill. Magic Rust Kill. Multi-purpose spray enamel. Industrial strength rust protection. Yeah, this thing will never rust. I promise you. But yeah, basically we have to spray paint the entire trailer. And to do that, we got to get the boat off the trailer. Which luckily, as y'all know if you've watched where we actually built the deck and everything. None of this is actually connected to the boat. It just sits there. So all I have to do, it's heavy, but it is possible. All I have to do is take the deck out and this boat, it's super light. I can just pull it right off the trailer. So yeah, now all I have to do is pull this wire all the way from the back and then gently, very carefully pull the deck out and set it down. And then I'll be able to get the boat off the trailer and then we can get to work. Last time I lifted up the deck on this boat, there was two mice in there, so I'm scared. All right, I think we're good. All y'all saying, oh, that deck's gonna be brittle in six months. Look at it, solid as a rock. <laughs> okay, not really, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, boat deck is out. That wasn't hard at all. I'm lying. That was that was kind of tough. But yeah, with that out, that's literally all the weight that's in here. Like, look at this. Oh, yeah. I can just lift this thing right off now. Oh, that's where that went. I've been looking for this. I was literally just looking for this in Tractor Supply parking lot. All right.
There we go, brother. Trailer is boat free. And now y'all can really see. Here's those supports that my dad put on. And then also something we noticed is my bracket right here that holds the this thing. It is crooked as all get out. So I need to loosen that or yeah, I need to loosen it, straighten that up. Cause look at that thing. Super crooked. It's supposed to be straight like this one. Crooked. So yeah, I think I'm actually gonna take these boards off. Also, I know I said, I think this was a jet ski trailer. It might've been a tilt trailer that somebody converted. Cause watch this. That thing comes all the way up. So imagine a solid like piece of metal or like some wood, like a wood plank, like a trailer. They could come over here, pull the latch or something, and then it just pops up and it's a dump trailer. And that might've been what this boat trailer was in this past life, but now it's old Leaky's freaking trailer. So we gotta try to get this stuff off. We ain't professionals around here. We're just gonna put a coat of paint on it and get this thing all one color. Might even do the, ooh, might even do the rims. Get real fancy on them. Hold on now. Is there a reason you're licking that? Does it smell good? Does it taste good? That's a real question. You're just licking the hell out of it. Is it the water? <laughs> Never have enough WD-40 on anything, so let's hit that. I can probably paint around that one. Yeah, I'm not taking that one off. We'll paint around that one. Yeah, that bottom one was super loose. Now we can just tighten it back up and be good to go. All right, and there we go. We got pretty much everything off. We'll go grab some Dawn, maybe a sponge or something. I'm gonna give this thing a bath, give it a little bit to dry. I'm gonna go cool off because it's 90 degrees outside today. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna give her a paint job. Holy crap, that's gonna look so good. Oh my goodness. All right, this might be too fancy for me. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, goodness, that's going to look good. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Boom, there we go. Everything else is black. It looks really good. Huh? Ah. Put... Well, you got your pajamas on. Well, we got at least one coat of paint on her. It looks really good. I think I like it a lot more than the green. There we go. Don't look too close. It ain't perfect, but it's black. It won't, it will protect rust a little bit. So, yeah. Whoa. That's what I'm saying. So, as I put a new coat of paint on it, there's actually a sticker right here can't really make it out but it has letters on it so that's the brand i guess of this trailer i'll have to look that up and see okay so i'm editing this and i looked up the name of that trailer and it's called hose claw and i was i looked it up and i was looking through the history that trailer is at least from 1978 that was the last time they even made trailers. Hose Claw like, got, got started in the 60s making motorcycle trailers. And then in the late 60s, early 70s, they started making boat trailers for like little John boats like that. And my trailer is actually meant for a John boat, 12 to 14 foot long. My boat's 16 foot long, so that's why it hangs off the back like that. Yeah, that's crazy. That trailer is at least, that's the last time they ever produced a trailer was 1978. That's wild. Dude. I am super proud of this. It looks good. Shout out to my father for helping. We got more support. It's got her painted. Probably go through. I got like half a can of paint left. Once it dries a little bit, I'll go back through. Maybe do another light coat on top, but I ain't too worried about it. And yeah, I'll probably leave it overnight, let it dry, and then in the morning, throw the boat back on it. And the big thing, I haven't even told y'all about this yet. The big thing, I went this morning before I went to my dad's. I went this morning. I've been doing, I've been messing with them for like the past few weeks, trying to get everything figured out and situated. But this right here. Commonwealth of Kentucky certificate of registration motor boat registration. I bought this John boat off of Facebook. It had I couldn't find a VIN. There's no like brand name on the boat. It has probably 30 layers of spray paint on it. You know, out of everybody that's owned it, doing what I'm doing, just spray painting the hell out of everything. I have no idea the year, make, model, none of that. Went up there, filled out a bunch of paperwork, and then this morning I went and I picked up the registration for the old John boat. So now we can take this thing. I think right there 
anywhere anywhere in kentucky you can go on the bigger lakes the more public lakes so yeah i am super excited about that fix up the trailer the boat hey she's old leaky she's gonna leak but i think we're still good to go i haven't taken it out in a long time so y'all know what that means next video we will be taking out facebook marketplace john boat new and improved at least the trailer is we're gonna take it out and we're gonna try to catch us a couple fish so y'all stick around stay tuned i appreciate you guys so much for watching jt i'm out